All right, welcome back, everyone, to GMA3. We are celebrating Pride all month long, and our next guest is a true champion for the LGBTQ plus community as he advocates for human rights through music and his foundation. He was the front runner and fan favorite on season eight of American Idol, and since then has risen to global stardom as frontman for iconic band Queen. He's joining us now to tell us about his latest album, High Drama. Welcome, Grammy-nominated multi-platinum recording artist Adam Lambert. Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi. Good to see you. So, to see you. So we first met you on American Idol, and you were fabulous then. But, Thank you. But not this fabulous. <laughs> and you've been pretty candid about the fact that you didn't feel comfortable fully being this. Would you do things differently if you went back to do it? I mean, I, I, you know, I was having so much fun on that show, and I was just living my truth and being as wild as I could be. I think after the show, getting into the music industry for the first time, that was a bit of a, of a like a shell shock for me, mm -hmm. because the industry was very different uh, 13 years ago, and you know there wasn't a lot of representation like there is now. It's gotten a lot better, so it's amazing for me to like sit here on the sidelines and be putting out music this much longer. In in the future, knowing that all the changes have been made, it's yeah. really exciting. Yeah, with a ton of fans as well. You've been very outspoken for the past ten years about being gay. How have you used your music to celebrate pride? You know, I, I write a lot of music about self empowerment. Um, you know, and things that are you know hopefully make people feel joy and feel confident. Uh, with High Drama, the new album, it's a it's a cover album, but I did pick songs that I felt like I could relate to personally, that I could have lived myself. Um, and a lot of the artists that I'm covering on the album are very individual and outspoken. Many of them are queer as well. So it, it, I hope it represents sort of what I'm all about. Okay. And how many inches of those shoes? Just yeah, look, right? Because I'm sitting there like, Adam! Uh -huh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Extra tall. You talked about the album being a cover album, but can we also talk about the Muffin Man song? <laughs> Because we've all been watching it. I mean, were you amazed how people just were like, I mean, I've never heard the Muffin Man quite like that. You know, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just so funny that it was just a silly joke on Jimmy Fallon's show. And uh, honestly, it's like, it's taken off. And I, th I said to myself the other day, I was like, wait, I've been doing this for 13 years. And this is probably the most viral I've been in a long time. <laughs> for this silly song, the Muffin Man sung like Cher. <laughs> it's, it, I, it's cracking me up. But it was so good. Oh, well done. <laughs> and people's dances on TikTok. And it's, I mean, I'm very flattered. Yeah, it's really fun. All right, Adam, yeah. thank you so much for being with us today. And High Drama is available everywhere that music is sold and streamed. And make sure to check out our GMA3 playlist by scanning the QR code on your screen. And now, here is Adam Lambert performing I Can't Stand the Rain. Woo! <laughs>
awesome. Ooh, it's a little tricky walking out here. Yeah, it's damp. Moving on this time. Yeah, love that. Love it. Thank Very you. good. Thank you. And that is what you need to know for this week. We'll see you right back here on Monday. I'm Eva Pilgrim. And I'm DeMarco Morgan. For all of us here at ABC News, including Adam, have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you Monday. <laughs>